The old car's nose looks terribly blocky and tall by comparison. In profile, it's definitely an improvement. And AMP AMP LTPA and AMP AMP GT your browser does not support IFRAMS. And AMP AMP LTP and AMP AMP GT. Some of the front end changes are arrow tweaks, working together to drop the coefficient of drag as well as to better balance lift front and rear at higher speeds. No one was talking numbers, Ford loves to hold stuff back, dribbling it out a few drops at a time, so stay tuned for specifics. The Ford guys were quick to assure us that the changes will be quantifiable and substantive. Sprinkle a grain of salt on that. The headlights, however, change shape drastically. Rather than the aggressive glare of the 15 scalloped headlights, the 18 goes to an eagle's head shape that looks more deeply inset. They remind me a bit of the front end redesign that the original Mustang underwent in 1967 that traded some timeless character for a more contemporary vibe. This is the 2018 Ford Mustang, a restyled, tweaked, and upcontented version of the pony car we've been enjoying since it ditched its stick axle back in 2014. As far as mid-cycle refreshes go, this one wins on some tangible aspects, but the subjective aspects are, well, subjective. And the V6s cap it. It's not a huge surprise, but more on that later. Let's start with the new front end styling by way of comparing it to the old car. The 2015 Ford Mustang was a polarizing design, although most of the criticism was about it being derivative rather than unattractive. It was a handsome beast, aggressive and yet classy. You might even say that the focus was at the time to make a product that would appeal to a global audience. Ford succeeded, and as Ford likes to loudly boast the Mustang is the top-selling sports car worldwide. It seems like the main design brief for the 18 Mustang, to a biased eye well steeped in the 15 Mustang styling controversy, is to banish the internet troll cry.